happens in moyamoya disease is the large vessels, the pipes that go to the brain get narrow and small. The brain starts to compensate by having its tiny vessels get bigger. But that ability of the brain to compensate reaches a tipping point, a point beyond which the brain can't do more. The brain is hungry for more blood flow. It starts to dilate the small. It would be the, the analogy would be if all the major highways in Phoenix shut down, people would naturally start using the side roads. And to some degree, you can compensate by going through side roads. But there comes a point where um, the side roads are not, uh, can't carry the load or that traffic, and you get traffic jams. And when we think about helping a patient, we think about th three areas. We think about reducing the risk of an ischemic stroke. We think about the risk of reducing a hemorrhagic stroke. But we also think about the issue of improving cognitive function. Because when flow decreases to the brain, people lose cognitive function. And sometimes we can reverse that loss and improve things for a patient by improving flow, which can improve cognitive function. What happens is when the brain is hungry for more vessels, there's a bone between it and the adjacent tissue. We make an opening in the bone and lay the scalp tissue onto the brain so that that's the vessels in the scalp tissue can now grow into the brain. Additionally, we can take a scalp artery and do a direct anastomosis, a direct connection between that artery and a superficial brain vessel. And over the course of several months, that connection grows and starts to supply the brain to the degree that the brain needs more flow. So the brain can actually regulate and promote its own wellness by uh, growing new vessels, but we help it along by making that connection between the scalp tissues and the brain, brain tissue itself. When people are treated and monitored closely, the prognosis can be excellent. We can usually help people when we can catch the disease early and intervene so that patients can grow new brain vessels to prevent a complication. In my 20 years of uh, treating Moya Moya disease, uh, it's become very apparent that when patients lose brain tissue to Moya Moya disease, their cognitive function can decrease and their quality of life can be affected. One of our very important goals with treating Moya Moya disease is not only to prevent ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke, but also to improve cognitive function. And if we can reduce stroke and improve cognitive function, it's our hope that we can also improve quality of life for individuals. And that is a, an intense focus for us here at Mayo Clinic.